the Mason Minute with Kevin Mason. The internet has changed so much over the last few years when it comes to news and how you can view the news. A lot of the major publications are now behind paywalls. You can't read most articles on the Wall Street Journal or in the Washington Post or the New York Times without paying for the privilege. Two more major outlets indicate they're going behind paywalls very soon. It was funny when I saw the article, looked at Fortune, and went, oh, it's behind a paywall, so it won't tell me who's going behind a paywall. I found a couple of other sources to tell me that it's, of course, CNN and Reuters. Yet both aren't selling the advertising they used to, so they've got to go behind the paywall. CNN hopes to charge $2.99 a month and a discounted rate of $29.99 for the year. Reuters hasn't said what it's going to cost to go behind their paywall. But I understand why they're doing it, but I'll keep looking for sources where I can find it online and not pay. Problem, the journalism isn't that good. Is it worth paying for? Maybe the story, but the writing sometimes, not very good. And that's a problem. Pay the journalist, then we're talking.